Hello, sir, wearing the black tank top. Buy something, will you? I think he did. Oh, he spent 60 bucks. Nice. Someone else spent 55. I will take that. Oh, $150. Holy crap. 165. Wow, this is getting insane. I can actually, I can afford the last employee. So don't mind if I do. Yeah, shove all your tips in there. Just keep on shoving them in there. We need to still place some appliances. I think now that, no, that's still, all right. I guess the events are probably uh, the cheap labor, I would guess. 1245, you know what? Good enough. Here, let's, let's, uh, no, I can't do it. Never mind. I need more money. Buy more overpriced goods. 180 bucks. Crap, I'll take that. Holy cow. Nice. Well, in that case, let's place more appliances then here. We're going to place uh, uh, that right there because that's going to be closer than other things would be. Oh my goodness. There are going to be so many, so, so many things involved with this. I feel like there are probably going to be like that and, and maybe, I don't know, that, I don't know. I, I got nothing. I'm just putting random stuff over there at 50 bucks a pop every time. What, what what do you want from me? I got nothing here. Let's... Fine, I'll research it. Milk charger barrel. I would never have guessed that. Milk charger barrel. Time Time... Is that it? Oh, I forgot to do some other ones then. Oh, I thought I had all of them. All right, I guess not. So, shaker kettle barrel. Shaker kettle barrel. Dun, 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 dun. Shaker kettle barrel. There we go. Look at that. The marquee grate. I didn't even see what the other one was. I, I was so quick to click. What can I say? Was it the Greek yogurt? That's what it was. Dairy health food fat that helps athletes get their protein. Ugh. I don't like Greek yogurt. It's just not nice. Nitro milk and barrel. So milk. Milk. Come on. Come on, milk. I, I can do it. I can drag it where it's supposed to go. The coffee yogurt cup. That sounds disgusting. Curdling the yogurt with coffee right in it is a sure way to violate some kind of food safety regulation. I agree completely. Bottle and a shaker. All right. Useless flare bottle and a shaker. The unremarkable cocktail. That sounds boring. <laughs> I like that. Turns out your ability to throw crap around doesn't actually make the drink better. That'll be $35. Oh, man. Isn't that the truth? Holy cow. Uh, time-lapse barrel and the shaker. The aged coffee Manhattan. Now you two could drink like a 50s businessman. Cigarettes not included. Barrel and nitro tap. Quite possible the only thing Ruby has come up with that sounds like a human being might want to drink it. The barrel aged cold brew. Um, I don't know. I don't think everything has been terrible, but most have. She, she might want to work on that. Pink, green, and gray chicken. I agree. That is not food anymore. That is that is not food. It's a crime against nature. A shaker and a deep fryer. Oh, that has me worried. Deep fried whiskey. You got a problem. We love you, but you're all we're all concerned about your health. You don't you don't say. Holy holy cow, look at all these tips lying around on the table. My bad. Let me pick them up. And that one too. So milk in the barrel. That sounds like a weird combination or Type thing. Milk in a barrel. The bourbon yogurt. Our lawyers assure us this stuff is safe for human consumption. I, all right, if you say so. The shaker in the nitro tap. That sounds potentially interesting. The coffee martini. <laughs> the coffee is brewed entirely in olive juice. 6,800% of your daily sodium per glass. Oh, man. 6,800%. That's a whole heck of a lot. I'm just going to say that's a lot. That's like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, 1846 bucks. I have spent so much money on recipes that I still don't have enough money to host an event. So, all right. How are we doing on appliances these days? One, two. Oh, we're down to two. So we'll put the bitters over there. And you know what? Here, we'll just do, we'll do both of them at the same time. That looks vaguely interesting. Uh, wow, we have a lot of, a lot of recipes to open up again. So, milk shaker, bitters, and barrel. Milk shaker, bitters, and barrel. So, that's the Canadian cocktail. Don't call him a hoser after he's had three or four of these. Apologies will fly. Don't call him a hoser. You're a hoser. So, espresso shaker, milk, and bitters. 
So espresso, shaker, milk, and bitters. The Cafe Carlson. Swedish alcoholic coffee. Pointless flavor distractions in the face of an endless, indifferent universe. That's kind of deep. Nitro espresso, cream and spoon. So nitro espresso, cream and spoon. What is that going to get us? I, I, I can't even guess at this point. I can't even pronounce that. The customers don't pronounce it right. You can throw it in their faces and call them plebs. Cafe Suada or something. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> plebs. Why did plebs ever catch on as a, as a term? Just wonder why. I'm sure someone knows the history to that. Nitro espresso milk and spoon. I already did that. No, I didn't do that. Nitro espresso. Didn't I just do that? Nitro espresso milk and spoon? No, I guess not. Nitro espresso. I think I did shaker and spoon or something. The layered latte. Trendy, tasty, and expensive like most things serve the beans. Well, expensive anyway. I don't know. I think some of these things are tasty. Maybe not all of them. Shaker bitters and milk. That just, again, some of these things concern me, but whatever. People are buying them. The Black Russian. Coffee, liquor, nice. Splash milk optional. Really takes the edge off at 6 a.m. Oh, if you're drinking a Black Russian at 6 a.m., we might want to have a conversation. Sous vide cooker, charger, and bitters. So, charger, and then the cooker. What are we going to get here? Pink chicken a la creme. Pink, creamy, and deeply questionable. Sounds like a bad romance novel. It really kind of does. I hadn't thought of it like that, but it really kind of does. French press and bitters. So we can go up here and we can grab our French... Come on. French press. There we go. The Turkish coffee. Unfiltered, slightly sweet coffee has nothing to do with the Thanksgiving bird. It's not a turkey. Come on, people. It's not a turkey. Get, get, get on the... Get on the board here. Uh, what are we doing? That and that one? Is that what we were doing? The bean signature old-fashioned. Like regular old-fashioned, but a twist of orange and a shot of espresso. Go make one. We dare you. So I think I've got all those taken care of now. And that just leaves uh, five more over here. So nitro shaker and bitters. And that's the Albert Denos. So uh, where are you, Albert? Three parts cold brew coffee, two parts whiskey, one part amaretto all class. Indeed. Nitro Spoon and a Machine. What is the machine? I don't remember which one that is. I just saw a machine. Espresso. The Black and Blacker. Foamed espresso sitting on top of nitro cold brew for when you want to be more coffee than man. <laughs> that sounds like a crap ton of caffeine. That's like, I don't know, you're going to be up all night and then some, I think. You guys are all cool, right? Yeah, you're not freaking out or anything. That's good. A uh, nitro spoon and milk, again, anytime that you have milk in its bag, that just sounds horrible, but whatever. Just seems odd. A black and white, warmed whole milk layered with ice cold, with cold nitro cold, ice cold nitro cold brew. Wow, that, hmm, that rolls off the tongue. St this blends together and ultimately ends up room temperature. That sounds terrible. Bitters in a charger. Uh, where are you? Charger and the bitters. Herbal clotted cream. Hmm, alcohol curdles the cream. Yummy. The spoon and the nitro tap. Is it just like, I don't know, a spoonful of nitro? The black and brown dark roast coffee layer with light roast coffee that blends together as you drink it. Sublime. Let's host an event. We're going to do the home roasting workshop here. We'll go ahead and just put that up right there. That'll be fine. That will theoretically bring some people in. And while that's happening... Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. I want to put some... Uh, here, let's put this couch down. We'll put that guy right there. That'll be good. Give us a seat right there. And then I want to do some... You're not going to be able to... Oh, you can rotate. Oh, perfect. Well, then here, we'll do a chair right there. We'll just do some more chairs over here. We'll line them up at the bar. People will sit backwards on them. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. It gives them some more counter space, some place to sit so they can go ahead and pop their drink down. And then uh, do me a solid and leave me some tips and that sort of stuff. So you know, that would be that would be really good. I'm um, you know, I'm good with that. Leave me money. We still got another twelve grand to go. So 
Oh, just looking here. Current customer appeal is at 532. We could place more decor down. Ooh, look at that. A jukebox. That'll bring us a lot of appeal. I like the sound of that. Here, can we, can we put the jukebox somewhere away so the customers can't touch it? I guess down here is okay. Whatever, it's fine. So what else do we have for decor options? Ooh, some bad local art. We'll put that up. We definitely should have that on the, on the wall somewhere. Come look at the bad local art. Um, the Sepia Photo Gallery. That also sounds good. We can put that kind of... Uh, here, let's put that one over there because I want to move this to right about there. Then we can relocate this. Uh, maybe? No, I guess the barrel is in the way here. I don't like the barrel there anymore then. I want to put the barrel right there in the corner so I can... Nope. Still doesn't fit over there. All right. Well, then here. Stare at it from outside and bask in the glory that is bad sepia photography. You are just brewing away over there. Cooking away. Brewing away. You're, you're bringing me customers. So you know what? Keep it up, sir. Keep it going. We've done everything we need to except make enough money. That was six grand right there in a heartbeat. Did you catch that? Here, let's really, let's really gum up the works here. What if I put a second one down, and then a third one down, and then a fourth one down, huh? What happens then? That's right, I hit a crap ton of appeal. I should have customers falling over themselves to get in here. You notice how these are coming out in a line that's ever so slightly not staying even? Maybe I can do that one. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Bringing in the money. Bringing in the monies. Come on, man. Money me up. We are almost there. We are so close. So close! Now, what I'm not sure what's going to happen here, because I have not played with the cheat codes much, beyond uh, making it so I can continue, which is awesome. I'm glad I'm able to continue. I don't know what's going to happen here. If it'll just continue on with ending the, the scene properly and all that, I assume it will. If not, well, then I'll do some fancy editing work, in which case you'll never know that that's not what happened, except for where I tell you that's not what happened, or you pick apart my fancy editing work, because it's really not that fancy. It's really not. I mean, my editing is just fancy enough that I could probably do a Michael Bay movie. I mean, look for the explosions, make sure they're on 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 scene, on camera, part of the movie, and you're done. That's kind of, that's, that's about my editing style right there. I, I should work for Michael Bay, apparently. Oh, come on, it's 1 a.m. Surely there are more people looking to spend hundreds of dollars on disgusting food and drinks at 1 a.m. Complete level! Hooray! Look at that, it worked just perfectly. Told you it would. I remember him. You should too, he was only there yesterday. I'll fill in for the narration, chef. Ahem, here we find the downtown's Downtown Beans Cafe and Fine Dining. It's the newest cafe by notable up-and-comer Ruby. Almost looks like Roby. That's Ruby! Oh, it's because it is. <laughs> My bad, I totally spoiled the joke there. Ah, uh, all right, I'll, I'll stop doing that. Don't interrupt the taping. Ahem, 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 ahem. Is that annoying enough? Ahem, ahem. It's now time for Chef Yasmar to get his first impressions of the restaurant and its food. All right. Um, come on, buddy. Work your way up to the counter. Order something gross and disgusting that you're gonna like. Wow. I don't think I can yell this much. What you can see here is that they tried their hardest to make a fusion of coffee shop aesthetic and the functionality of 14th century stables. I'm sorry, what? Yes, it's in the coffee shop that looks like hard. Wait, what is this? It's it's exquisite. The way it catches the light and then enhances the aroma of the surrounding area. And this, it brings such a robust je ne sais to the restaurant. I probably butchered that one. Uh, thanks, I guess? Quiet! I was figuring it was going to go je ne sais quoi, not je ne sais I don't know. I don't do French, okay? Kein Französisch. Nine. <clears throat> now it's time for the chef to sample the local cuisine. Will it wet his appetite? Or will it taste like someone's wet themselves? Hmm, I'll try to write that one. No, that one, was, that one wasn't bad. That was pretty good. I would go with that. Miss, bring me your most expensive food and drink and place them on the counter. Don't you mean my best food and drink? That's what I said. Were you even listening? Hello? Open your ears and think before you speak, you quivering sea lion. Jeez, relax. This guy is a little tense. 
little uh, little wound up, I think. So maybe he should relax a little. That that might be a good idea. How dare you serve this to me? This coffee is frozen. It's obviously super hot. There's even steam coming off of it. Uh, we will be adding all of that in post. Please just stop talking. With the coffee ice cold, how will Chef Yasmar react? He will now try to sample the restaurant's dishes. Let's hope he's filled out his donor card. Ha! 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 These people are jerks, just in case, you know, it wasn't obvious. This drink! This... This food, I can't... It... It's bloody... Chef Yasmar can't stand the food. It ended up being full of blood. They must have used blood instead of milk in the drink. <laughs> Quiet, you twit! This is fantastic! Possibly the best I've ever had! That's right. You can't hate it more. It's... Wait, wait. What? Look at everyone dance. Listen, people, listen to me. This is guh. It's guh. It's good. There are no donkeys here. Nothing's frozen. This was the greatest dining experience I've ever had. You have to believe me. It's not an abomination. <laughs> but the show is called Cafe Abominations. Bollocks to that. You won't change any of this netting or I'll have your job, you sanctimonious baboon. <laughs> Oh, man. Sanctimonious baboon. Really? Wow. That's a good one. I, I hmm. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, letter here for a ruby. That's me. Everyone's still dancing. Cheers. See you, postman dude. Thanks for delivering the letter. Appreciate it. Have a good day. That letter, the seal, that's from the Coffee Bottom Patriarch's office. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. What is it, my dear? It's from the late Coffee Bottom himself, and it's evidence. It says, it says that Rose is the one behind all of this, and that she probably was also behind the accident that killed him. She's looking to take over the company. That, that's impossible. I refuse to believe it. I've spent my life in service to the Coffee Bottom family. They would never. They, I refuse. Uh oh, huddle, little huddle going on here. I, I must go. All right, see you, Al. Um, that was awkward. That was really awkward. Okay, I've got one chance to make this work. Fingers crossed. What are we doing? Are we gonna are we gonna shoot Rose? Because I don't know. We'll see. We will see. The shadowy figure. Will they emerge from the shadows? Failures, all of them. I was a fool to trust them. If you want something done, you have to do it yourself. Hey, it's Al. Rose? I can barely see in here. Rose, is that you? Hmm, complete with a little hair toss. I like it. Yes, Albert, I'm over here. Thank you for coming. What is this place? No, it doesn't matter. It's terrible, Miss Coffee Bottom. Miss Ruby has become delirious with stress. She's doubting the Coffee Bottom family name. Oh no, do tell. What could ever make Miss Ruby doubt our wonderful family? She is straying from the coffee bottom path. She, she, deep fried coffee. She made food into clothes. I think at one point there was a radioactive pirate cutlass. I, I just don't know what to do. And then there was the letter. Of course, the letter. What did it say? I left without reading it. It wasn't for me to see, but I can't believe the things she said was in it. She said it was from Master Peaberry. She said it... It said things about, well, you. But it's all lies, I'm sure. Perhaps young Ruby has been working too hard. Oh, she's getting a phone call. Hello? It's time to end this, Rose. I know everything. You know where I'll be. I don't know why I suddenly went sinister with, with Ruby. Let me stop that. Meet me there, unless you're too scared to show your face. Ah! Miss, are you all right? Get the car, Albert. I've got work to do. Kind of takes it to a weird place when I do it like that. You know, when I do the, I've got work to do. But, you know, whatever. It's all good. It's all good. I think we're going to have the showdown at OK Corral. Look at this. Hey, Ruby, right? Yeah, Ruby. Geez, I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, hey, it's Lana, right? From the firm. Yeah, it's been a while. So what are you doing back in town? Do you have a job with another firm? Oh, no, I'm here to open a coffee shop, actually. And it's not my first. This is actually going to be my fifth or sixth now. I think it's sixth. I kind of lost count. 
Coffee, huh? That's great. I always like the ones with the pumpkin spice. Well, I got to go back to the office, have fun being a barista or whatever. All right. See you, Atlanta. It was nice for you to hang out. Bye. Click, 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 click. Didn't do anything. Okay, you can do this. Food court by the old office. Rose won't be able to help herself. Huh, that's weird. This doesn't anything look like look anything like the shop Albert described. This is the sweet number, isn't it? Click, 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 click. Oh, there they are. Get away from my side of the shop. Touch that counter and I'll have you arrested for trespassing. What? Your side of the shop? Albert, what's going on? Is this another metal-themed kitchen-based reality show? I've been on one of those already this week. Don't fear, Ruby. We'll have a chance to finish your trial. Your side of the shop is adjacent. This side, however, is Rose's. She's going to be your final trial. You will face off in sacred caffeine combat. Uh, sorry, missing an E. As it is, as is stipulated in the annals of the coffee bottom history. Time to get started crushing your... You under my boot. Albert, you wouldn't mind helping? Yes, miss. Ruby, you learned everything you needed to complete this final trial. You'll have access to a curated selection of your previous appliances, decorations, and furniture. But you have very little room. You must choose carefully if you're to have any hope of defeating Rose. She is overwhelmingly powerful in the Black Barista Arts. If you can complete the trial and sell more coffee than Rose, the prize is yours to claim. It's going to be a showdown at Coffee Bottom Corral and Beans Corral. Good. Now we're alone. Ooh, are we going to get some... Some, some good talk in here. Now give me that letter and walk away right now. I'll let you keep your other coffee shops. Not a bad game for someone as dull as middle class as you. Drop out of this competition. You don't deserve to be the heir. Not a chance, Rose. I think you're worried that I'm better at this than you thought. You probably thought I'd fail at the start. But I'm not the one with everything to lose. I'm not going to lose anyone, least of all you. The fortune is mine by birthright. I wonder what would have happened if Peabody had lived for another five or ten years. How long would it have taken before an even younger family member got to the right age? I sure was lucky for you that your grandfather passed away when he did. What I'd like to know, though, did you have the guts to look him in the face when you killed him? You know nothing! You don't know what's on this letter, do you? He knew more than you realized. He knew everything. He just hoped you wouldn't go through with it. Sounds like he was a compassionate man. I bet you thought he was an old fool, didn't you? There is no evidence! You can't prove anything! I will not! Yes, you will. You're going to play this game. You win, you get the evidence in this letter. You get the title. I win. The title's mine, and you confess to your crimes. Hmm, I'm gonna guess you won't confess. Ah! Ha ha! So the girl has some backbone after all. All right, I'll play your game. I'll show you just how weak you are. Bring it. And I think with that, we might have ourselves the start of a battle, which will continue on the next one. So until then, thanks for watching. See you later. I'll get these placed down right now.